This is a really complicated question, actually, so please bear with me while I try to explain this to you. So, blood has a certain concentration of electrolytes, um, whereas sweat that we are losing during exercise has a different concentration of electrolytes. And actually, the concentration of electrolytes in the sweat is lower than the concentration of electrolytes in the blood. This means that we are losing more water than we are losing electrolytes. So, if we were not drinking anything during exercise, our blood would get more and more concentrated. And this actually causes us to be thirsty and it urges us to uh, drink water. However, uh, when we are drinking water, we are only drinking water and we are not having any electrolytes added to the drink. And as a result of that, uh, the concentration of electrolytes can actually drop. This is especially, especially important or um, problematic in long duration events, um, for when we're talking about like four, five, six, seven hours, or even more than 10 hours, for example, for Ironman athletes. Because by just drinking water, this would mean that concentration of electrolytes in the blood would actually decrease. And this is really problematic from the health perspective because a decreased concentration of electrolytes, especially sodium in the blood, means that the water starts to enter the cells at a really high rate and cells start to swell. And for example, in our brain, the brain has a barrier, which is the skull and the skull cannot grow, cannot move. So if the cells start to swell, this means that they want more space um, and they can actually start to pop. And this problem is called exercise associated hyponatremia and it's a deadly um, health issue and numerous athletes can actually die of this. And the biggest problem is drinking too much, but at the same time, it's also about substituting the electrolytes that we are losing during exercise. So the optimal, uh, in an optimal scenario, we would be actually providing athletes with the same amounts of electrolytes as they are losing during exercise. So the optimal concentration of electrolytes in the drink is actually the same one as in the sweat.